how can you get crazy lean? In this video, I'm gonna tell you. My name is Dr. Story. I've been a chiropractor for over 24 years. I've been an endurance athlete all my life. I am gonna give you realistic information based on my experience. There are only two, two ways that you can get lean. I'm gonna summarize it in one basic sentence. The answer is ride your bike 200 miles a week and eat nothing but chicken and broccoli. Now, that's not realistic. So I'm gonna give you some useful information that you can use to get yourself lean, crazy lean. There's two methods. Now, number one, here's the deal. I have not met many cyclists that ride over 200 miles per week that are none, nothing but lean. The truth of the matter is there's a certain magic number that when you get to, it almost kind of doesn't matter what you eat. What ends up happening is you're gonna get lean and that magic number is about 200 miles a week. Now, that doesn't mean that you can ride 200 miles in one day. What it means is throughout the week, multiple rides, four, five, six times a, a week, you're riding your bike. By the time you hit the end of the week, you've accomplished over 200 miles per week. If you're a runner, you need to go above 30 miles per week. When you're a runner and you start logging up the miles and you start running over 30 miles per week, <laughs> it almost doesn't matter what else happens in your life, you, my friend, are getting lean. Now, realistically, not everybody can do that because of time constraints and they just don't want to. So the second option, besides doing some type of workout, is to actually alter your diet. Now, here's the problem. I get it. I understand. It's very confusing. You have some people saying you should eat uh, you know, just nothing but sugar, and then other people saying you should eat nothing but meat. Should you go on a ketogenic diet? Should you go on a caveman diet? Should you eat paleo? Should you eat the zone? Should you eat Atkins? There's a million diets out there. I've seen people say they've lost body fat by drinking celery juice for seven days. Well, wonderful. But here's the reality. I'm willing to bet that you know the answer on how to change your diet. And the answer is you have to eat less crap and eat better foods. Now, what is the all optimal combination of foods on how to get lean? Well, if you starve yourself, obviously you get lean. If you were on a desert island and you had no food whatsoever, you're gonna become lean. Now that's not ideal, but it's a good lesson because what happens when you actually are starving on a desert island you're not eating carbohydrates and you're not eating protein. So what ends up happening is you become lean, but you become emaciated. Now, how could you become lean and not emaciated? What do you need to eat? You already just thought about it. You need to eat some type of protein. So eggs, chicken, fish, beef, um, anything like that. So if you were to just eat nothing but those things, you would probably maintain your body mass in terms of your muscular mass, but you would start to lose body fat. Why? Because you're basically starving of carbohydrates. Now, as you add carbohydrates to the mix, of course, you're gonna have a lot more energy, but if you were to add carbohydrates to the mix, at what point are you eating too many carbohydrates? Well, usually you're eating too many calories at that point. So the two ways for you to get crazy, crazy lean would be to do some type of endurance activity combined with a little bit of manipulation of your diet, and that is how you achieve awesome leanness.